Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you to a public hearing being held in lieu of notice, resolution number 18-06-014. Madam Clerk, has this been posted properly? Yes, sir, it has. All commissioners, have you please registered for this meeting? Madam Clerk, roll call. Don't worry about Mr. Chairman, you have 12 members present. Thank you very much. We have a quorum. In light of the fact that the emergency announcement uh, was sort of malfunctioning, I will read it in the event of an emergency and alarmway sound. Everyone should exit the building by way of the nearest stairwell in a safe and effective manner. If the nearest stairwell is blocked by smoke, use the other stairwell. Do not use the elevators. Once you have reached the main floor, follow the exit signs. The exit the building quickly proceed away from the building. Please be mindful of others evacuating and of emergency vehicles. Madam Clerk, will you please read the call tonight? Sorry. We're a little cramped up here tonight. <clears throat> In accordance with Tennessee Code Annotated Section 55105 and 137105, the Board of County Commissioners of Blount County, Tennessee will convene and hold public hearing on June 12, 2018 at 6 p.m. at the Blount County Courthouse Commission meeting room for the following proposed amendment to the zoning resolution of Blount County, Tennessee, being resolution 0006. 010 and specifically the zoning map of Blount County, Tennessee. A resolution to amend the zoning map of Blount County, Tennessee from R1, Rural District 1, to C, Commercial, for a 17.74 acre tract of land located at 3720 East Lamar Alexander Parkway, Maryville, Tennessee. The property is identified on tax map 60B, Group A, Parcel 1. Uh, shown in the hatched area above on the public notice. Um, copies of the resolutions may be obtained at the office of the Blount County Building Commissioner and Secretary to the County Commission during regular office hours. Blount County does not discriminate based on race, color of national origin, in federal or state-sponsored programs pursuant to Title VI of the Civil Rights Act. Thank you very much. If there is anyone who wishes to speak at tonight's public hearing, if you would please raise your hand, I'll try to start at the front and work my way back. As you come to the microphone, I will ask you to please identify yourself and the district in which you live. Is there anyone that wishes to speak tonight? Ma'am, if you would please, I, I'm gonna, sir, I'm gonna try to start at the front and work my way back. Ma'am, please come to the microphone and identify yourself. <laughs> Well, I've never done this before, first of all. That's quite all right, ma'am. And I live on Husky Branch Road, which is off of East Miller's Cove. Please identify. I live, oh, identify myself, Sharon Husky. Okay. Keep talking or not? You're good to okay. go, ma'am. I live right below where all the work is doing, been being done up on the mountain, and it's, the 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 parcel I, the parcel that you okay I, I I'm sorry I don't want to interrupt you but I think this one is on Lamar Alexander Parkway I think okay so we have to wait till we get to a certain one yes okay. ma'am it's That's the six fifteen it's before. the six fifteen one okay I don't the, know which the one's one which. the one we're dealing with right now ladies and gentlemen is seventeen point seven four acres located at 3720 East Lamar Alexander Parkway. That's what we're having right now at the 6 p.m. meeting, okay? Yes, sir. Just to let you know, the map is so small, I don't know that anybody here can read without a magnifying glass. Okay. Just so you're aware of it. Okay. All right, is there anyone that wishes to speak to this one? Ma'am, please come forward, identify yourself and where you live, please. Thank you. My name is Donna Sparks. We live in Rural District 1. We're on the southwest corner of the property that's in question. 
We are at, actually at the dead end of Autumn Drive. Um, my name is Donna Sparks, my husband Jason Sparks. We own that property. The property has actually been in his family since 1938. Um, his parents or his father lived in the cove and when, when all that took place and they put him out of the cove, they actually moved down in 68 to take use of the farm there. Um, prior to that, they just used it as a dairy farm. But his grandmother made the comment that that property looked like the cove and that's why she wanted to live there. Um, it is a dead end. We are surrounded by property. Um, I'm not sure who the, if the PACs have a, a bid already on the property and that's why they're trying to get it put into effect to make it a commercialized area, but it would be at the very edge of our property and several others that go up, the, up that edge. Um, I would just be adamantly against that. It, it's a beautiful location. It's, it's gorgeous down there as it is and there's, it, it would be awful to have a parking lot beside of us on those four houses and the other land at the back of that just and it and it take away from what that property actually was and what his family had actually set out to do there um, again like i said it was his grandmother that said it looked like the cove and that's why she chose it there i would hate to see that that much property taken away and made into a parking lot or a shopping mall or something like that um, i would just hate to see that happen Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else? This public hearing is closed.